Welcome to Fab Narrations. Story 1 I cut my hair very short to hurt my husband. Now he says, I'm the Aho. We, female 26, male 29, married for two months, were at a dinner party at my husband's sister's, female 33, and I found out that my husband was in love with his sister's friend, Jasmine, female 33, for the longest time. I wasn't bothered by that. We met three years ago, and we both had lives before we met. What I didn't like is how Jasmine kept touching and kissing my husband on the cheek and saying she regretted dumping him. I didn't know what to do, and I didn't want to make a scene since Jasmine was already drunk and loud, so I just tried to stand between my husband and her. After a while, Jasmine shouted, Don't worry, if I wanted him, I could have had him. The music was loud, so not many heard, but Jasmine, my husband's sister, and me. My husband's sister kept telling Jasmine to shut up, but Jasmine said, No, I might as well know that she let me have him, so I don't look so smug. I didn't say anything, and I wasn't smug at all, but mortified. When she stood so close to me and told me that my husband texted her the day before our wedding, and if she wanted, she could have easily told him to call off the wedding, I was shocked. When we got home, I confronted my husband about everything. About the hugging and kissing, he said she was drunk, so he didn't know what to do. About calling me pathetic, she called me pathetic for following my husband around because I didn't know anybody there but sister-in-law, and I'm very shy. He said that she was obviously jealous, so he didn't want to stoop to her level. About the texts before our wedding, he swore that they were innocent. He was nervous, and she texted him, and he told her he was nervous and scared and nothing more. The texts were deleted. I was still very upset and he told me he loved me, and he was happy to have married me. I was still upset, so he told me to work on my self-esteem because I was being dramatic about a loser. I asked him if he would have married her if she didn't dump him, and he said, yeah. Then he hastily said, because I wouldn't have known you. I asked him if he did, would he have chosen her? He just sat silent. I've been crying all week, switching between anger and pain in my heart. My husband loves my hair, so I made an appointment today and cut it very, very short. When he saw me, he was very angry and said I was an a-ho because I knew he loved my hair and I cut it to get back at him. He called me a big baby and a-ho. But I don't think I'm the a-ho, no matter the reason, because it's my hair and my choice. Sounds like you got a breakup cut before the breakup instead of after. Everyone here seems to suck and would do with some form of therapy. Learn to talk to each other. Also, F that sad sloppy biatch. You should just laugh and brush her off every time she tries talking to you like that next time. And watch her melt down in front of everybody. Jasmine is pretty pathetic that she is so desperate for the attention of someone she dumped who moved on. The husband is the biggest problem here, though, because he didn't stick up for OP or put up boundaries with Jasmine. This is absolutely a husband problem. If he had done everything he should have as a married man, then OP wouldn't be feeling insecure now. I hope you realize that this is about far more than your hair. It was definitely petty to do that, but it is your hair. Focus on the bigger issues you are having. You have lost trust in your husband. Based on what you wrote, it doesn't seem like it is fair, but I sense that there is more to this story. At minimum, he's disregarding her feelings on the matter. Maybe he doesn't have strong feelings on the matter, but she obviously does. And I don't blame her. Especially hurtful is him dismissing Jasmine insulting his wife by using their past. 
and calling her pathetic. He's pathetic for not respecting his wife's feeling and consoling her, defending her, letting his past lover hang all over him. Honestly, yes, you are an a-ho. First off, you got pissy with him over what appears to be nonsense and could have been discussed in a calm and rational manner. The questions you asked him, particularly the one about if he would have married her if they hadn't broken up, and if he met you while he was with her, would he choose you, are completely unfair and loaded questions. Nothing he would have said would have been right. And it looks like you're acting like a complete brat and gone looking for a fight. Then, in an act of absolute childish petulance, you've gone and had your hair cut very, very short just to anger him. So, yes, you are an a-ho. And if I was married to someone who acted like this, I'd have already packed my bags and filed for divorce. Have you considered couples counseling or mediation? It sounds like you were already feeling insecure and the ex saw an opportunity to make trouble with you. Hair grows back. A good cutting can even help it. It just sounds like you guys need to learn how to communicate with each other. Folks here are being pretty rough on you. This really sounds like a breakdown of communication and adulting. Try getting a professional outside opinion, not just taking abuse on Reddit or not doing something you were never taught how to do in the first place. Best of luck to you. Story 2 My 25 male parents, 50s, freaked my girlfriend, 34 female, out about our age difference. I met my girlfriend, we'll call her Megan, at a social meetup activity about two years ago. After several meetups, in which we got along well, I asked her if she wanted to go out, to which she agreed. She is nine years older than me, which did make me a little nervous at first, but that quickly went away after repeated interaction. She is smart, beautiful, fun, nice, everything I would want in a partner. After about a year and a half of dating now, I would say our relationship was in a good place. I asked her if she was put off by our age difference, and she said she was worried about it at first, but that went out the window after our first real date. I have a moderately strained relationship with my parents. They are very controlling and helicopter parents, which led to a lot of fighting in my teens and college years. I talk to each of them about twice a month, but we live in different cities on opposite sides of the country, and I don't make much of an effort to visit very often. They have FaceTimed Megan once or twice at holidays since we started dating, but they have not met face to face, which I was putting off because I was worried that my parents would be embarrassing or weird or start a fight like they often do. However, my grandmother is up there in age and had a health scare a few weeks ago. So I wanted to go visit home, and I brought Megan with me. The rest of my family is normal and fine, so I arranged for us to stay in an Airbnb for two nights, and we would see a few of our family members, with one single dinner devoted to seeing my parents, because that was the amount I felt I could handle. The dinner with my parents went horribly. The entire time, my mom and dad could not let go of the fact that Megan was nine years older than me. They kept going on about how she must be ready to get married and have kids, and they were worried I wasn't ready to be in a mature relationship, and that she was at such a different stage of life than me, and how I'm too young to be able to support her if she becomes a stay-at-home mom, and all these other really offensive things. I defended Megan and our relationship and fought against everything they were saying, but after about 30 minutes of this, I decided we were done, and we left. My dad called and texted me multiple times about how they were just looking out for my best interests and I was being rude for disrespecting them and leaving early. I texted back the next morning and just said not to contact me further and blocked them both for the time being. I haven't decided if I'm mad to the point of permanently cutting them off or if I just need a break from them for a while. Initially after this encounter, Megan didn't actually seem too phased 
and I was way more upset than she was. She was supportive and said she wasn't worried about her age difference. And I had given her plenty of warning that my parents were kind of crazy. The next morning, though, she was pretty distant and didn't talk much directly to me during the rest of the trip. But she was nice and polite to the other family members we saw. We got home yesterday afternoon. I dropped her off at her house, and she told me that she needed some time alone to think about things. Later that night, she called me in hysterics, saying that she was scared, because what if my parents were right about our ages being an issue? And what if we were in denial this whole time about it mattering? I tried to assure her that we worked well together, and our age difference wasn't so big that we couldn't navigate it. We loved each other, and that was what mattered to me. Screw what other people said, especially my psycho parents. I managed to calm her back down to a reasonable level, but I feel like she is still worrying about this. And I am scared that it will lead towards her breaking up with me or further fights or something. Is there anything I can do or say to help alleviate her concerns about our age difference? Am I in denial and it's a big difference? How should I handle my parents moving forward? I am furious at them for causing this. Edit. Neither of us particularly want kids, so we are not on a biological clock limitations, and we don't have to worry about the stay-at-home mom factor. Even if we did have kids, we both make enough from our jobs that our finances wouldn't be in trouble. She actually makes a lot, so if anything, I would become a stay-at-home dad. We have both talked about marriage and would be interested in getting married in the next three to five years. So... Right off the bat, I think age gaps freak people out, especially age gaps at this particular stage of life where so much happens and you're still settling into the bones of your life and choices still feel fairly impermanent. Things calcify as you start to get older in more ways than one, trust me, and it gets harder to change things which is why there's so much protectiveness around the younger person. It's easy for an older, more experienced person to seriously mess with someone's head and sense of self before they have an opportunity to figure it out on their own. However, maybe I'm going against the grain a little here, but an age gap on its own doesn't necessarily raise my hackles. I think your parents did, unfortunately, ask fairly reasonable questions to at least have answers to. If you've already both sat down and discussed these things, then it shouldn't have rocked your girlfriend so badly as it seems to have. I think you need to take some time and sit down together in person and really discuss what it means to you. Yes, there are biological realities to talk about if you want kids but it seems from your comments like these are unfounded fears. Calming someone down after they're upset isn't really a calm, rational discussion, so I'd still make time to have a conversation at some point in the very near future. I will also mention that from her perspective, she's probably panicking and trying to figure out how much of this you believe. Personal anecdote. My husband and I are of different races, my parents have always been very prejudiced against people of his race, and even warning my husband and parents about this did not prepare him for the level of hostility they faced him with. And it didn't matter that I loudly defended him and immediately removed us when they worsened. It still planted a seed of doubt in his mind that, well, I was raised by these people after all. How much of what they believe still shapes my worldview? And it was fair for him to have those fears, and I want them to be alleviated. If your parents are anything like my parents were, they're likely trying to destroy a potential source of happiness in your life. It has nothing to do with criticism of your relationship. This really stood out to me as well. This is a defining factor. I, female, was 44 when I dated a 29-year-old male who looked at least 40 when we met and went on our first dates. He had already had two children, a divorce, and a vasectomy. 
I had already had my two girls. The age difference came out after a couple of dates. It bothers me more as I am, was, the older woman, and people often judge. A friend reminded me how fun and caring he was. The men I've met before him were such a-hoes. So why should I break up with him just because of his age? I should have fun for now and deal with things if and as they arise. We had a great three years together. We ended things because he wanted to do things I had already done in life. Move somewhere new, have a house built. I was ready to do these things at that stage of my life. The relationship ran its course, and that's okay. He showed me love when I needed it and had been alone for a long time. He learned things from me. We respected each other. We are still good friends now. With the age gap, I think your main big picture life goals need to be similar. Then it will most likely work out. Nine years isn't that big of an age difference. I am nine years and nine months older than my husband. We celebrated our 25th anniversary this year. I was 35 and he was 26 when we got married. I was worried about our age difference in the beginning of our relationship, but after being together for a few months, we both knew we were the ones for each other. Don't get me wrong, we do have our issues. I like 70s rock and he likes 80s hair bands. But we have made it work despite his mother's fears that I was going to corrupt her son. I did corrupt her son.